And yeah. also, I, I want to go to the arcade sometime, man. They got a lot of rhythm games over there. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot to do here. If you go 0-2, this is probably still the most fulfilling tournament experience you can get. Oh, yeah, most definitely. So let's jump right into this. Like I said, we got a... Um, your boys, Wadi and Mr. R, come up to bat. This is going to be kind of an interesting team because Wadi's been picking up Wii Fit Trainer in recent uh, memory ever since he got that huge buff. Right, and I just wanted to uh, give some background on these players too. We have yeah. Mr. R, best player in the Netherlands, or, you know, formerly from the Netherlands. He's been living in the U.S. for quite a long time. Wadi, best player in MDBA, and then we've got two uh, South Florida killers, Morpheus and Mudace, not the number ones in their region, but still have been putting up some big Ws out there yes. and beyond. Yeah, they've been doing a lot of work back in their locals as well, like in their uh, big big regionals that's been going on. And Mudes, you know, it's been crazy because when people think of like Florida Peach, they think of Sam Sore, but Mudes has been putting a lot on the board lately. Oh, that was a great follow up from Wadi. He gets the grab back throw, pushes them both off stage, gets the kill against Mega Man now, just trying to get this Peach off stage. And again, Wadi, you know, being the best from MDVA, hasn't really been in MDVA for a while. He's been like hanging down in SoCal. Yeah, he's been traveling a lot, but hey, credit to him because that's how you expand your palette. You know, you get to learn all these other styles and That's right, incorporate stuff into your own gameplay. Either way, Krom and Wii Fit Trainer, a team that you wouldn't necessarily think of yeah. first on paper, right? But it's really good. Krom, both of these characters have a ton of speed and power, and then you've got Wii Fit for the survivability for the projectiles. Krom, just a bum rush and for some easy KOs. Meanwhile, Mega Man and Peach is going to be about controlling the ground and controlling the air. Yeah, they, they got the, kind of the same dynamic, like you said. You know, you got, uh, you got Mega Man and Wii Fit being kind of like the backliners, kind of just throw out projectiles while... Krom goes in like a gorilla, and you see him getting knocked off. He's already sitting at pretty high percent. Mr. R trying to survive over here. He's trying to go to the back line, but good pickup coming out from uh, Morpheus' Mega Man in the back air on that platform. Stock's melting for everybody other than Wadi. He's going to be the tank of this yeah. set, no matter how you slice it. Whether they're winning or losing, he'll probably be the one with the most stocks remaining. Yeah, that's how he worked in Smash 4 as well, man. He was always like the guy that just hangs on that ledge. You see him, like, there he is going start the, uh, right out the gate, trying to throw out those volleyballs right on the edge, trying to get Morpheus right off of him. He also has the ability to heal as well. Every single time he throws out that uh, salute salutation. Yep, yeah, very reflective of his personality, too. He's oh, a very yeah. chill guy, <laughs> likes to hang back. And we're seeing him just take to the edge, very reminiscent of our favorite local Wii Fit back home in New York, John oh, Numbers. Yeah. Who? Who? I don't know who that is. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Trying to get the cross up with a oh, nice back air added shield. It's going to be a really good added shield option for Mega Man. Yeah, Wadi find that kill. Finally going to go down. Now the red team has stage control and the percent lead. They just needed to land some key moves to knock both Mega Man and Peach out. Got two separate one v ones right now. Yeah. You saw that Wadi was trying to go for it. But I don't think he even expected that to kill. I'm pretty sure he just like hit him. He's like, oh, I got a kill. Let's go with it. That's we fit in this game, man. The yeah. Character has a ton of power. I keep wanting to say she, but Wadi yeah, Wadi, Wadi play plays the male we fit. Man. Man. I mean, the, the male Wii Fit's really rude. Dude, he, he like, he shouts at you, man. He does. He's like, he salute the sun! Serious trainer. Right now! Either way, down to the last breaths for the blue team. Morpheus getting kind of bullied off stage here. Oh, and there's Mr. R's second stock going to go out. Mudeis taking care of him. Yeah, Mudeis, I think, I think the 1v1 between Mr. R and Mudeis has definitely been in favor of Mudeis. He's been doing a really good job of just, like, keeping Mr. R off stage whenever they entered that 1v1. I think that's when Wadi needs to come in with the projectiles. Here we go. Dash attack just to push him back off. And then everybody with that one. Yeah. I mean, he just slides in there. Now, Mr. R going to retreat. Wadi saying, hey, I have the extra stock. I need to sit up front. I don't know if I like that strategy, though, because that means that he, if he goes out, then Mr. R can't share stock from him. Right. I mean, they're still up by a whole stock. Mega Man sitting at 131%. Morpheus is going to have to hold on to this for as long as possible. He loses it right now, just as I say it. Catches the jump, and that's going to, that's pretty much it. It's three stocks to one. Mut uh, Mutase needs to, like, get these stocks, like, right now, but they're just, they're not bleeding too hard. And what a handoff for Mr. R's down tilt, right? Yeah. Just into the we fit forward tilt. Such a strong move, especially with deep breathing active. Now we've got a lone peach and three stocks for these guys. Player blade at the what edge. The so heck little was ending that? time. <laughs> I like this little wall they're setting up. Mr. Yep. R just doing a very low lag move at the edge. Wadi charging the projectiles behind him. He could just send him over Krom's head. And Mudeis putting on a fantastic show here. He managed to get back onto the stage between both players. Trying to set him up with the volleyball into that sun salutation and hang down a little bit too low. Mudeis not going to be able to get back up there and grab onto that ledge. It's going to be game one going to Wadi and Mr. R. Pretty solid. All it right. So Team Europe and MDVA. Mm -hmm. Unlikely alliance, but they're going to yep. be taking an early lead in the set, and I believe this is still best of three, so they have one more chance, mm. uh, Mutant Morpheus, to bring this one back. And it's also crazy. The name plates are swapped, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. R, of course, legend in his time, legend in our time. Mr. Beast Coast himself. Over on the far right, yep. And 
going to the left. That's Wadi and the Mutes and Morpheus. You guys want to put some faces to the names yeah, here. Yeah, of course. I mean, that, that, that's important, right? You gotta be able to know who your players are. Now, so we're gonna jump into this game too, and I'm actually a little shocked that these two teams are already fighting this early on, but I guess maybe doubles wasn't as packed as singles. Perchance? Maybe not in terms of numbers, but in terms yeah. of talent, certainly. In terms of talent, oh, Looking yeah. at who's on your screen right now, right. yeah. And that's kind of the cool thing about doubles is you see like these wacky pair ups. Like, like you said, Mr. R and Wadi was not a team I was ever going to expect to see happen. Like, I don't even think I've seen them interact before. So, really cool to see stuff like that. I know I've seen uh, Ally and Samsora earlier. So, really crazy setups coming from these guys. But once we have Mute Ace and Morpheus, like I said, those are the, the Florida boys. Obviously, right, they're right. going to team together. So let's jump into this to see if they can try to take this game number two. They got their counter pick in their favor. Going to stick with the same exact characters. Final Destination going to get rid of those platforms. All right, here we go. This is a great stage for Zoner. So, yeah, it's going to benefit Mega Man, but Wadi will also have a lot of room to just hang back, throw these projectiles, all that lateral space. There's also no platforms, which I think does inhibit Krom a little bit. So I yeah. like the counter pick overall. Here we go. Mr. R is off stage. Morpheus trying to get this edge guard. And you can see with teams that don't normally pair up with each other, like Wadi and Mr. R, I would guess that this is their first time playing doubles. They're just separating things into two separate fights, right? Yes. They don't want to necessarily try for team combos that they haven't rehearsed all that much. Mutant Ooh. Morpheus being from the same region, though, maybe they have a little bit more synergy and they want to take the fight together as one unit to these yeah. guys. It, that's kind of like what the doubles game is. You kind of decide what you want to do with the strategy. And Mr. are getting a pretty early kill with that forward air off stage. There we go. Up is going to be able to interrupt it. One of his fastest aerials in the game. All right, we've got some stage control for the blue team. Counter, yes, by Mr. R. Yeah. Waiting it out. I really like that. Outlasting the active frame of Toad. Delaying that soaring slash to be able to get back on stage safe and sound. Good down tilt. Down is a really good move for just poking someone when they're trying to get off. This is the this is destruction right here, man. They're not letting them get back to the stage. You see, whenever Mr. R whiffs, you got a projectile coming from Wadi. That was a good setup. Managed to finally break it through. Mutis is looking for an edge guard against Mr. R. As on the ledge. Good use of the ledge guard, but down below Wadi. Yeah. Did he get footstool? Is that what happened? That, I missed it. That double edge trap is so scary. Yeah. Just, again, that flare blade next to no lag. Wadi right there with the projectiles to back him up. And you're seeing that work to great effect. We've got a full stock lead for the red team at this point. Falling up air. Just the handoffs. Oh, but Wadi missing the Q. Going to hit Mr. R instead. Doesn't matter, though. They're right back in it. The solo combos from both of these characters are fairly strong anyway. And, like, the past 10 seconds, I feel like everyone's just punishing each other for punishing someone else. That's just yes. kind of what's going on. And that's what happens when you're, like, all center stage without any platforms whatsoever. And that is well-executed doubles right there. That's how you play the game. If somebody hits their teammate, you should be right there in position to hit them. Right. And their teammate should be right there in position to hit you. So Rinse and repeat. Exactly. You're going to see a lot of chaos, a lot of bodies flying across the screen. But when you do get a clean breakaway into a team combo, it gets really cool. But man, get up attack right into Mr. R's shield. He just That's let it be a forward smash. Mute Ace having to borrow one from the, uh, Morpheus. Oh, I love that falling up air. And then he had to use the rush coil into yeah. the air dodge up to recover. I like that. Digging deep for Morpheus, and it's going to end with Mr. R losing his second stock. They've got a chance here, but I don't know if I like it so much with this bloody Mega Man on yeah. the screen. I don't know if he can bleed. He's a uh, uh, robot. He's, he's made out of metal, man. Yeah. But he'll be fine. He, he's also rock. He's got nuts and bolts popping yeah, out of him. There you go, man. Okay, got the Metal Blade coming in. I, I feel like he didn't know he had a Metal Blade. Mr. Arya, I think he wanted to get that confirmed into a forward smash. To be Wadi's second. Uh, everyone's on their final stock, but again, like you said, Morpheus is hurting here. Wadi's trying to get this stock off stage. Just one swing away, but Mr. Arya's doing a fantastic job against Mudes. That, that's one of the things you got to try to decide on, right? When you have someone like, on the edge like that, you decide to just stay there and try to get this edge guard, or you go over and help your teammate to do a 2v1. It's one of those uh, things you just got to like decide what's more important, you know? Morpheus sitting at 162% off stage. Mr. Arya trying to get that chase, but Mudes is going to be able to cover his teammates. Dash attack trying to slide into that shield real quick. Mr. is going to have to survive. This is getting really close. Mr. R is super high percent. The only one that's going to be able to survive is Wadi, but there goes Morpheus. And this might be the end for the team. Let's see if we guys can try to get someone. He needs to get rid of Mr. R right here. Yeah, one last chance for this Peach. And that Peach Bomber not going to be the play to get back on the stage. We've seen you guys get back on stage before, but good coverage from Wadi. Just going to slide right back in there upon that landing, get that kill. And we're going to have a 2-0 victory in the favor of Mr. R and Wadi. But you know what? That was a good, va that was a good effort. From the Definitely team, a good man. fight, yeah. yeah. I mean, they were pretty much down to their last stock in the, in the second game. Mm -hmm. Game one a little bit more convincing, but it showed that they were able to 